So here at the Unnecessary Studio, I have every single machine, tool, gadget that I could possibly need to take an idea I have in my head and make it into a real physical product. And today I'm not gonna use a single one of those tools to build a brand new invention. Because I'm gonna show you guys today a few resources online that if you don't have a studio like this, how to bring your idea to life with absolutely no equipment. And the sponsor for today's invention is probably going to make all of you guys jealous. Uh, let me show you. Today's sponsor is the one and only Canon Cameras. And look at all of the amazing stuff they sent over. It's, it's pretty amazing, let's check it out. We've got ourselves the Canon EOS R6, the Canon EOS M50 Mark II, the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III, the Ivy Click Plus II Instant Camera Printer, the Ivy Mini Photo Printer, the RF 15 to 35 millimeter lens, the RF 24 to 240 millimeter lens, the RF 50 millimeter lens, the Canon tripod grip, an eight to 15 millimeter fisheye, and the EF to RF lens adapter. And it's been awesome having all of these different cameras to do different things. Maybe it's filming some TikTok videos, doing some YouTube content, filming stuff for Instagram, and that's when the idea hit me. Why individually film all of those different things when I could put all of these cameras onto one giant tripod and film every single social media network all at once, all at the same time. Like for instance, this camera right here is the R6, and I'm gonna want this on our mega tripod right in the center for YouTube. And then we've got the GX7 here that's been really great for vlogging, mainly because it has this flip up screen, so I want this camera facing me on the tripod. And then next up, we're gonna use the M50 here, but mounted vertically on the tripod. And this is what's gonna get our TikTok and Instagram Reels content. And then lastly, mounted on the side of the tripod, we're gonna have the Ivy Click 2. Okay, smile. And we'll go ahead and use this for some IRL photos for printing them right on the spot. But really quick. My one million plaque showed up. I just wanted to give you guys a big old thank you for getting this thing sent over to the studio. And one more thing. I made this version of my 100,000 subscriber plaque. Give me some ideas of what kind of new plaque I could make for a million subscribers that's something different than this. Although I'm not gonna be using the machines here in the Unnecessary Studio, I am still going to design the invention myself. And most of the time, I can see the final version of the invention in my head, so I just gotta take that picture and translate it into a 3D design. And so for this one, I'm sort of picturing a metal bracket that's gonna have a bunch of different curves and angles, so there's gonna be different sections for all of those cameras to mount together into that one giant tripod. We're gonna have a space with the R6 on the front, then curve down, up and around. We're gonna have that GX7 facing me so that I can vlog. Up and around the side, we're gonna have that M50 mounted vertically so we can get that vertical content. Then there's gonna be a secondary 3D printed bracket that's gonna attach to the side where the Ivy Click 2 can fit in perfectly. But now that we have all of the design files ready to go, it's time to send off those files to other companies to actually manufacture all those different pieces. We'll have them shipped here, and then I'll assemble the final parts all together. So the first file that we're gonna send off is for the Ivy Click 2, that little 3D printed component that goes on the side. And for that, we're gonna use shapeways.com. See, look, shapeways.com. Shapeways is a company that does 3D printing on demand. So if you don't have your own 3D printer, you can take files, send it to Shapeways, they'll 3D print it and send it back to you. It's super simple to get started. All you have to do is click get a quote. And once you have your 3D file, you just gotta click here to upload it. It's gonna go ahead and upload your file and analyze it. And once their system has uploaded the file, you'll have it right over here on the other side. So you can zoom around, move it around, you can zoom in and out, you can check out the file, you can double check all of the dimensions to make sure that those are correct. And then over here, you can choose so many different materials that you can have it 3D printed in. They have a section on their website that gives you a little bit more detail on what each material is and what might be the best use for that material. I have used them in the past, so I sort of know which ones I wanna use for this project. <laughs> but if we really wanted to, we could make this in gold for uh, $1,600. I don't think I've got the budget for that. So we're gonna go with versatile plastic. And here you can also choose a whole bunch of different colors. And what's nice is when you change the different colors, it will also automatically update the price. So right now this part is gonna be $55 to produce if we made it in black. Except I think I'm just gonna go with white for right now because I'm gonna paint it myself. 
Then down below that, you can choose the level of processing you want for your parts. You can do completely straight out of the machine, you can do a little bit processed, and each level is a little bit more expensive than the next. But for this project, I'm just going for the typical processed part. And just to be safe, I'm gonna add two units to that in case I mess it up somehow. So we'll add that to the cart and get it ordered. So this is where the pros and cons kind of start weighing in. With Shapeways, you don't need any of this equipment to get a nice, amazing quality 3D printed part. It is gonna take probably about 10 days for that part to show up. While if I really wanted to, I could take that part and probably have it printed in about four hours right here in the studio, because if the part doesn't work, then I can tinker with the design, send it back to the printers until I have that perfect part. And I gotta say, I'm crossing my fingers that this part is gonna work because in 10 days, if it doesn't, I'm gonna have to resubmit the changes and wait another 10 days for the new part to show up. So it all depends on what you're actually working on. And then the second service that we're gonna use is called Send Cut Send. And that's what we're gonna use to make the metal bracket that's gonna house all of the other cameras. Because just as the website says, Send Cut Send is a perfect way if you wanna get custom laser parts fast. So just like before, all we have to do is hit get an instant quote. As well, we'll browse our files. And similarly, over here at Send Cut Send, you have a few different materials that you can choose from, from wood, plastic, composites, but we are going for metal. And for this project, I think aluminum is gonna work really well because it's gonna be light. Once we have all of these cameras up on the tripod, I feel like it's gonna get a little bit heavy actually trying to carry it. So having a metal that is, as it says, light, strong, and versatile, I think is gonna be great. And then within each material, you can then choose the thickness of that material depending on what your actual application is gonna be. So for us, I think we'll go 0.125 inches. Again, I'm gonna add two of them. So with that flat file, we're gonna need to decide on the bend. And then for each bend, we decide if we're gonna go up or down. And this is gonna make it look like that final 3D design file that I made earlier. We'll add the bending and then also the tapping. And this is gonna allow us to be able to screw in the screw from the tripod. Add that to cart. So this one is $110 with all of the different bending and tapping added into the design. So unlike Shapeways, I have all the 3D printers if I wanna use them, but with Send Cut Send, they have some amazing equipment that I absolutely would never have in this studio. So they're a really great resource to use if you have metal parts, acrylic parts that you wanna get cut, super fast, super cheap. I would, I, I honestly love using them. But now it is time to simply sit back and wait however long until all of those parts show up. So it's been about two weeks since I filmed that last video. We've got the box from Shapeways, we got the box from Send Cut Send, so let's check them out. Go ahead and open this up. I really hope this works. There it is. So as you can see, it's a nice packaging from Shapeways. Okay, this 3D printed part came out looking so good. So that's definitely another perk. You don't have any sort of learning curve if you have your 3D files. You send it to them and it comes out perfect because using 3D printers can sometimes be a little finicky. So this, perfect on the first try. Speaking of which, does the camera actually fit? Oh yeah, I think that'll definitely do. Now let's go ahead and get the Send Cut Send box open. Dun da da dun 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 dun. Dun, da, da, da. Here's the super mega tripod bracket. I think so far all of the bends are looking good. We have all the little compartments for the tripod screws. Let's actually get them out of here so I can see how it actually looks. Packaging, packaging is good. It's really difficult to get this out of here. Oh, I did it. Okay, so here is the metal bracket that is gonna house all of our different cameras. I think it should be doing pretty good. Where did I just put that other piece though? Okay, luckily it looks like this is also perfectly, perfectly lining up. So that's gonna attach here. So we're gonna have our click over here. We're gonna have all the different cameras here. We've got the little tripod screw. So I'll be able to screw a tripod mount into here and hold this out and get all of our social media filmed. The only other thing that I wanted to do is I know I said I wanted to paint this guy, so that should be much better because I think it looks really nice in that red that kind of matches up with the Canon logo. And then also we've got this part here. 
that's gonna look really good in this nice black on top of that red. Putting these two pieces together, I think one of the only things we're missing now is a whole bunch of cameras, so I can start filming everything all at the same time. Okay, fine, sorry, I lied. I had to add one more thing onto this invention until it was finally complete. I added in these little rubber pads here to help protect both the camera and the tripod itself. To make them, I just quickly printed out the designs, cut them out with an X-Acto knife on this sticky rubber, and put each pad in its position on the tripod. And now it is officially time to put all of our Canon cameras onto this enormous fun mount. So first of all, let's start out with the Canon 60D and get all of our beautiful 4K YouTube content. We can slide this right in here and carefully screw this guy into place. Camera one, check. And let's see, let's go for the G7X here that we're gonna be using for vlogging. Flip that up and we're gonna have this pointed at me. Same thing, we'll get this guy screwed onto here. Camera number two, onto the tripod. The next camera is gonna be the M50 here, mounted up vertically. Oh yeah, that's on there nice and tight. Then we just gotta slide the old Ivy Click 2 right into its spot right there. Casey Neistat, eat your heart out, because this thing <laughs> is ready to go. <laughs> it, is, it is heavy. I invented the camera cluster, the first camera mount that helps you film every social media channel all at once. Our robust tripod features multiple mounting locations for your high quality YouTube camera, a vertical mount for TikTok content, a rear facing vlog camera for Instagram, and quick access to your print on demand camera. So no matter what style of content you produce each and every day, reach new heights of productivity when you catch absolutely everything from every angle. I think I'm gonna be able to stop going to the gym just carrying this bad boy rig around. <laughs> Definitely pretty hefty. YouTube, check. TikTok, check. Instagram, check. In real life, check. And a brand new invention using absolutely no tools, well, except for a printer. That doesn't count. You guys, you must have a printer. Check. I also think it would be kind of fun to do the opposite in that I come up with an idea and then I talk to a bunch of different designers, hire them to make the invention, and then I build the invention here instead of designing it and outsourcing the production. So then you guys get a whole look at every single step of the process if you want to make your own invention. And of course, thank you to Canon Camera for sending all of these amazing cameras. Be sure to go check out the link down in my description to see more about Canon. But with that, I think I'm gonna go become TikTok viral famous with this one, film an Instagram vlog over here, and get my next YouTube video going here while I take a couple selfies in real life. I will see you at the next Unnecessary Invention. See ya!